You truly cannot write this stuff. Another Republican. I'm not talking now about George Anthony DeVolder Santos. I'm talking about a different Republican who claimed Jewish heritage. And it turns out she's not only lying. Her grandfather was a Nazi. Uh, I it's it. What a world that we live in. Article from the Jerusalem Post. Congresswoman claims to be Jewish, revealed to be the granddaughter of a Nazi. We are talking about new Republican Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna. She has claimed Jewish heritage previously, and it turns out her grandfather Heinrich Mayerhofer, and this is not the this is not like a Jack Mayerhofer moment the, when Bill O'Reilly got pranked by that. This is genuinely the guy's name. Heinrich Mayerhofer, who died in 2003, served in the armed forces of Nazi Germany when he was a teenager in the 40s. You really should read this entire J Post article. It's wild, wild stuff. Florida Republican Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna was outed by The Washington Post Friday for lying about her Jewish heritage in a previous interview with the Jewish Insider. Not only is Luna almost certainly not Jewish, but according to several family members, according to The Post, Luna's paternal grandfather, Heinrich Mayerhofer, who died in 2003, served in the armed forces of Nazi Germany as a teenager in the 40s. Luna had told The Jewish Insider, I was raised as a messianic Jew by my father, clarifying she identifies as a Christian. I am also a small fraction Ashkenazi. Now she's speaking ethnically, of course. The insider had interviewed Luna in reaction to the fact that Marjorie Taylor Greene, known for her Jewish space laser conspiracy, endorsed Luna's candidacy. If she were anti Semitic, asked Luna after claiming Ashkenazi roots, why did she endorse me? I in no way, shape, or form would ever put myself in a position where I'm hanging out with someone like that. And so I just don't see that Marjorie Taylor Greene is that person. If I see it happening on the right, I'm the first person to condemn it and say like, hey, that's not cool. I don't align with that. Reminiscent of Hillary Clinton's, I told Wall Street to cut it out, which they laughed about. But now this is taken seriously. Luna has also invoked Nazis in her political rhetoric. In 2021, she tweeted a video insinuating that a registry of Americans who were not vaccinated against covid would be like the Nazi list of Jews. Um, this is very, very quickly becoming another George Santos situation as the lies are piling up. Now, some people wrote to me and said, David, you know, sure, she's a liar. But like, what's so bad about saying you're one religion when you're just not that religion? Like, David, if you said you were Baptist and you weren't Baptist, it wouldn't really be offensive. It would be a lie, but it would be offensive. It wouldn't be offensive. You really have to understand what Judaism is. Being Jewish is not just a religion. Judaism is a cultural identity. If you were if, if you didn't convert into Judaism, you're also ethnically Jewish. Like when I did my DNA, it came back. Oh, David, you're Ashkenazi. That's an ethnicity. I could change my beliefs into whatever Mormonism. I'd still be ethnically Jewish. And there's a history ethnically and culturally, in addition to religiously, which has faced centuries of perse persecution, really millennia. It's an ethno religious group. And so when you falsely claim Jewish heritage, you're not only erasing the experiences and the struggles of actual Jewish people, you also perpetuate stereotypes. You're participating in cultural appropriation. So it's not like a harmless act. It is deception. It is a lie at the end of the day, but it's a particular type of lie that under undermines trust and respect. So George Santos, George Anthony DeVolder Santos did this falsely claiming Jewish heritage. Uh, Anna Paulina Luna has done it. And then lastly, there's one other wrinkle here, pretending to be Jewish and then exonerating Marjorie Taylor Greene from an, uh, accusations of anti-Semitism with your fake Jewishness is like another particularly disgusting layer to the entire thing. So it is not only Santos that is participating in these and many other lies. If you're curious about Luna's other lies, there's a number of articles about it now, which you can find ugly, ugly stuff. We're going to take a very quick break. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed to the Spanish YouTube channel. What? 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 David, what are you talking about? Later on in the show, I'll tell you all about what's going on in Spanish.
Did you know that every year 30 million trees are cut down to meet the demand of toilet paper in the United States alone? Here's something really simple you can do to fight climate change a little bit in your home. Our sponsor, Real Paper, makes toilet paper 100 percent from bamboo stocks, which keep growing forever. No trees are cut down. It's shipped right to your door in plastic free packaging. It's fluffy. It's soft like regular toilet paper. You're not making any quality sacrifice. And for every box you buy, real paper donates to reforestation efforts across America through their partnership with One Tree Planted. So instead of the toilet paper you're currently buying, which cuts down trees and wastes plastic, use real paper actively helping the planet. You can set up a recurring subscription so you're always stocked or do a one time purchase. The average American uses 50 pounds of toilet paper or more every year. Make the easy switch to real paper. You'll get 30 percent off your first order plus free shipping. Go to realpaper.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman. The link is down below.